Okay, hello girls. Let's continue. Uh, masih lagi bab 1. Kita lihat 1.2 about Mary's thematic tissues and growth. Alright, so have you observed the development of a plant from a seedling anak benih sehingga dia menjadi adult plant? So usually, which part of the plant will grow first? Hmm. So this is related to uh, seedlings, the growth of seedlings. We are talking about the meristematic tissues. Okay, so there are undifferentiated living tissues in plants which are responsible for plant growth. Plant growth. So who are they? They are the meristematic tissues. Okay. Meristem, meristem tissues or the meristematic tissues. Okay, terbahagi kepada apical meristem tissue and also lateral meristem tissue. Apical comes from the word apex, hujung ya, hujung tidak kira lah, hujung atas ke atau hujung bawah. Kalau lateral, meaning tepi, di sebelah tepi. Okay, so let's look at this uh, root apical meristems. Shoot apical meristems. Yang ini hujung atas, yang ini hujung bawah. Okay, kalau lateral, dia berada di sebelah tepi kiri dan juga tepi kanan. Okay, as you cut this, the cross section of it, you will see ada label cock cambium. Okay, dan juga vascular cambium. Cock cambium. Vascular cambium. Masih ingat vascular tadi? Vascular tissue is on the, about the phloem and also xylem. Okay, revise. The changes in organism starts from zygote to adult. Okay, is known as growth and development. So you have learned about it actually in humans and animals. Remember back in chapter 15? Okay, so masih ingat apakah definisi bagi pertumbuhan? Okay, the zone of, let's continue on lah, kita fokus untuk melihat kepada zone yang terlibat dalam pertumbuhan sel. Okay, so the tips and the shoots can be divided into three zones. Just now, let, tadi kita cakap dia tidak kira hujung atas, shoot pucuk lah, shoot pucuk. Dan juga hujung dekat bawah, that will be the uh, the roots. Tapi sekarang ni kita lihat, kita fokus pada bahagian atas dulu, pucuk atas. Ada zone cell division, zone of cell elongation. Nah sini, should I begin my systems? Cell division dulu, diikuti cell elongation, cell differentiation. Alright, so the growth that happens in these zones, it is called primary growth. Jadi semua pertumbuhan yang berlaku pada zon-zon ini namanya primary growth. So later on, there will be secondary growth. Okay. Okay, kalau di bahagian put, uh, bawah, hujung bawah, that is root apical meristem. Okay, hujung bawah pun sama juga. So you start with here, okay, zone of cell division, dekat hujung bawah dulu. Okay, diikuti cell elongation punya zone, and then you have the zone of cell differentiation. Okay, boleh ya? Okay, so let's go into the first one, zone of cell division dulu. So, apa yang berlaku? It takes place at the apical meristems, which consists of actively dividing meristem cells and that is called mitosis, this process. Okay, still remember the significance of mitosis? Mitosis berfungsi dalam pertumbuhan. Okay, so the increase in the number of cells. Mitosis kan? Jadi dia akan menyebabkan tumbuhan itu memanjang, batang itu lagi panjang daripada anak beni, uh, sorry, anak pokok Dia jadi tumbuhan dewasa, dia makin memanjang. 
Okay, why? Because of the increase in the number of cells. And that is mitosis. Okay, kita cakap apical meristems ini memang dia aktif membahagi. So, when new cells are forming, the cells form previously are pushed to the zone of elongation. Apa maksudnya tu? Ha, maksudnya kalau dia sudah membahagi, sudah banyak, increase the number of cells, oh, tidak cukup tempat, jadi dia akan push ke bawah lah. Ha, jadi ini yang menyebabkan tumbuhan tu memanjang sebab tiap bilangan sel bertambah. Ha, okay, so meristem cells over here dalam cell division, you see the nucleus, this is the cytoplasm, bakal dia masih kecil, ada cell wall. Okay, cell elongation punya zone pula. Okay, jadi apa yang berlaku? Bakal tadi masih kecil kan? Sekarang sudah bertambah besar. Okay, lama-lama besar-besar sehingga dia boleh combine bentuklah satu large vocal. Jadi banding tadi initially begini, eventually begini. So can you see the difference? Okay, so let's look at the characteristics. So consists of cells that are increasing in size. Okay, happens through water diffusion by osmosis. Okay, absorption of nutrients. Okay, semua ini ada dalam vocal. Maka vocal dia punya kandungan utama adalah air. Okay, air osmosis is the process. Okay, so small vocals fuse. Banyak-banyak yang kecil ni akan combine, membentuk yang besar. Proses itu kita panggil vacillation. So the diffuse water exerts pressure. Dia akan men menghasilkan tekanan exerts pressure to the cell wall. Maksudnya dia akan push ke arah luar. Saat tekanan tinggi di sini ni. Okay, elongates and widens the cell. Ini yang menyebabkan kenapa dia boleh mengembang. So, ada tekanan dari dalam. Okay, zone of cell differentiation pula. Consists of differentiating cells. Differentiate once they have reached their maximum size. Nah, tadi mereka sedang membesar. Okay, kemudian pelahan-lahan sudah sampai sel, uh, sudah sampai size yang paling maksimum. Jadi, macam mana? Mereka harus Membeza, okay, buat pembezaan, proses pembezaan, differentiate. Nah, maksudnya mereka ni mau jadi specialized into something sudah ni. So, its purpose is to form permanent tissue. Ha, boleh nampak dia punya hmm, hubungan tak? From meristematic tissue bagaimana jadi permanent tissue. Maksudnya, kalau permanent tissue tu, dia punya asal memang meristematic tissues. Okay, so what is the purpose? Remember ya, kalau zone of cell differentiation tu, purpose dia is to form permanent tissues. So, examples, epidermis, cortex, xylem, phloem. Nah, semua ni example of permanent tissues. You have seen it uh, in previous lessons. So, cells change the shapes, structures, Mereka sudah berubah ni, so, sudah jadi specialist. Okay? Without spe with specific functions. Okay? Sudah specialized into certain area sudah ni. So, example, epidermal cells in leaves. Leaves tu memang ada epidermal cells kan? Nah, dia akan differentiate form gut cells. Yang control opening dengan closing stoma itu. And also epidermal cells in the roots. Yeah, modified. Uh, um, in the previous lesson, I already mentioned these two examples. Where the root hair cells and also gut cells, they are example of modified epidermal cells. Okay, can you see the relationship? Okay, sebenarnya ini kita kena buat eksperimen ini to prepare microscope slides. Saya so, kita mau lihat dia punya tiga zone itu. Zone of cell division, cell elongation, cell differentiation. Okay, so um, 
you'll be using this stain, acetoosin stain, uh, purple ito. Okay, to be able to enable you to see the, the different stages of this uh, zone. Okay. Okay, we see lah. Nanti habis PKP, kita boleh buat eksperimen ini. Ataupun kita buat observation melalui mikroskop sahaja. Okay, boleh?